Hey, hey guys. So it's, I'm going to flip it around so you guys can see me. Um, I am making mashed potatoes and I am using my Dutch oven and I'm going to be using our new potato masher. I know I haven't made a video in a while. I've been kind of MIA. I've got a lot of things going on, but I really need to start working my business again. So I am back, back in full swing. So here I'm going to flip it around. The potatoes are cooking in our Dutch oven. How pretty is that? I love it. We have a new set coming out as well, and it's going to be a light blue color, almost the same color blue as my wall there. So there's my my potatoes. I got red potatoes. I leave the peeling on my potatoes because I like them like that. You don't? Well, Isaiah doesn't like them with the peels on. So they're almost done, and as soon as they're done, I'm going to drain them, and then I'm going to use our potato. And let me flip around. So you guys are going to walk around with me. So here's our potato masher. It's amazing. It folds. It's kind of hard to do when you're on the phone. Anyway, you squeeze it together. Ah, here, I'm going to set the phone down. <laughs> All right. So you squeeze it, and then it just flips. And then it's very sturdy. But then you squeeze it again, and then it for easy storage so as soon as those potatoes get done mashing I will pick up the video and show you how I'm going to make the mashed potatoes Nope, I dropped you. Sorry. Okay, so I have the potatoes drained. I drained them. And I put them back into my Dutch oven. And why not? Because it's such a pretty... So, there they are. Very steamy. And I wish I had a stand. So, I'm going to try to do this the best I can, holding this camera and doing it at the same time. So, I use a half a stick of unsalted butter, real butter. I'm going to put that in there. You know what, this isn't gonna work. I'm gonna have to find something. <laughs> Hold on one second, guys. Okay, that's the best I can do right now. So I got the half stick of butter in there. I don't measure anything. I am horrible about measuring anything. But I, okay, so I have five pounds of red potatoes in there, a half a stick of butter, and then I would say that this is probably about a half, no, about a cup of sour cream. I'm using my Toy Story scraper. And then I'm going to give it a splash of milk. And when you're mashing the potatoes, or mashing them, you, some people like them thicker, some people like them thinner, so you will just figure out what you like. Um, and then I am actually using the garlic and herbs from Pampered Chef. This is so good. I use it on so much stuff. So much stuff. So I'm going to sprinkle some of that in there. I give it a good, nice old coat on the top. And then I'm going to use my masher. I'm going to, oh, got it. I'm going to have to take this. Okay. So, and now I'm going to grab this camera and let you guys watch how easy this is. All right. So there we go. See how sturdy that is? So it's getting everything mashed and mixed some people like their mashed potatoes really smooth some people like them really chunky i kind of like mine really smooth but with the peelings in there you can't get it as smooth as i would like but if i were using non-red potatoes i would have peel peeled them but you can smell that garlic and herbs working and if you've ever been to applebee's and had their garlic and herbs mashed potatoes. This is kind of what it tastes like, especially with the seasoning from Pampered Chef. So. And I'm going to put a little bit more sour cream in that because it doesn't look like it's enough for me. So, 
That was probably about a cup and a half of sour cream. And I am making a mess of sour cream <laughs> everywhere. All right. So I'm going to continue to mash these, and then when I get them all mashed up, you will see what they look like. So I've never really done a hand masher. I've always used my big KitchenAid mixer, which is, I know, it's very convenient to use it, um, or it's easier to use it, really. But it's so inconvenient to have to dig it out and then get all the attachments and then wash it when you're done. And this is so simple, and it's made life a little bit easier. Plus, it gives me just a little bit of a workout with my arms. So I'm going to taste these and make sure that I've got enough garlic and herb in there. I'm going to add just a little bit more. I've got kibasa. I don't know if you guys can hear that sizzling, but I'm cooking kibasa as well. It's like a Polish sausage. I usually make it with the red potatoes and onions, green peppers, and cabbage, but all I had was potatoes, and I really just wanted mashed potatoes today, so that's what I'm doing. Alright, so now I'm going to show you what these look like. Look at them bad boys. Oh my goodness. They look and tastes amazing. I cannot wait for dinner. So, yeah, it's very good. All right, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, reach out to me. I would love to help you earn this cast iron set. Next month, they are our hostess deal. Um, so, if you have any questions, reach out to me. You guys have a great day. Bye.